Leyland Motors Limited was a British vehicle manufacturer of lorries, buses and trolley buses. It gave its name to the British Leyland Motor Corporation formed when it merged with British Motor Holdings, later to become British Leyland after being nationalised. British Leyland later changed its name to Simply BL, then in 1986 to Rover Group. History equals beginning equals Leyland Motors has a long history dating from 1896, when the Sumner and Spurrier families founded the Lancashire Steam Motor Company in the town of Leyland in northwest England. Their first products included steam lawnmowers. The company's first vehicle was a 1.5-ton capacity steam-powered van. This was followed by a number of undertype steam wagons using a vertical fire tube boiler. By 1905 they had also begun to build petrol-engined wagons. The Lancashire Steam Motor Company was renamed Leyland Motors in 1907 when they took over Coolards of Preston, who had been making steam wagons since 1897. They also built a second factory in the neighbouring town of Chorley which still remains today as the headquarters of the Lex Leasing and Parts Company. In 1920, Leyland Motors produced the Leyland 8 luxury touring car, a development of which was driven by J. G. Parry Thomas at Brooklands. Parry Thomas was later killed in an attempt on the land speed record when a chain drive broke. At the other extreme, they also produced the Trojan utility car in the Kingston upon Thames factory at Ham from 1922 to 1928. Three generations of Spurriers controlled Leyland Motors from its foundation until the retirement of Sir Henry Spurrier in 1964. Sir Henry inherited control of Leyland Motors from his father in 1942 and successfully guided its growth during the post-war years. Whilst the Spurrier family were in control the company enjoyed excellent labour relations a euro reputedly never losing a day's production through industrial action. Equals World War II equals, during the war, Leyland Motors along with most vehicle manufacturers was involved in war production. Leyland built the Cromwell tank at its works from 1943 as well as medium-large trucks such as the Leyland Hippo and Retriever. After the war, Leyland Motors continued military manufacture with the Centurion tank. Equals post-war equals, in 1946, AEC and Leyland Motors worked to form the British United Traction Limited. In 1955, through an equity agreement, manufacture of commercial vehicles under license from Leyland Motors commenced in Madras, India at the new Ashok factory. The products were branded as Ashok Leyland. On the other hand, Leyland Motors acquired other companies in the post-war years, 1951 Albion Motors, 1953, collaboration with Danish Automobile Building, a bus manufacturer, later with a majority stake in the 1970s, 1955, Skamel Lorries LTDA Euro Military and Specialist Lorry Manufacturer, 1961, Standard Triumph, Cars, Vans and some agricultural machinery interests. Equals Holding Company, Leyland Motor Corporation Limited equals, 1962, Associated Commercial Vehicles, which incorporated AEC, Thornycroft, Park Royal Vehicles and Charles H. Rowe, 1962 A new group holding company was incorporated to own Leyland Motors Limited, ACV and new acquisitions, 1965, Minority Interests and Bristol Commercial Vehicles and Eastern Coach Works, 1966, Rover Cars and their subsidiary, Car, Aero Engine and Armoured Fighting Vehicle Manufacturer Alvis, 1967, Aveling Barford was acquired This company mainly made road rollers and dumper trucks. Donald Stokes, previously sales director, was appointed managing director of Leyland Motors Limited in September 1962 Originally a Leyland student apprentice he had grown up with the company. He became chairman in 1966. In 1968 Leyland Motor Corporation Limited merged with British Motor Holdings to form the British Leyland Motor Corporation. BMH brought with it into the new organisation more famous British goods vehicle and bus and coach marks, including Daimler, Guy, BMC, Austin and Morris. The Leyland diesel engines were used in Finnish Sisu and Vinajar lorries and buses in 1960s. Equals British Leyland era equals. The BLMC group was difficult to manage because of the many companies under its control, often making similar products. This, and other reasons, 
led to financial difficulties and in December 1974 British Leyland had to receive a guarantee from the British government. In 1975, after the publication of the Ryder Report and the company's bankruptcy, BLMC was nationalised as British Leyland and split into four divisions with the bus and truck production becoming the Leyland Truck and Bus Division within the Land Rover Leyland Group. This division was split into Leyland Bus and Leyland Trucks in 1981. Leyland Trucks depended on British sales as well as export markets, mainly Commonwealth and ex-Commonwealth markets. The early 1980s were very hard, with export sales drying up in many places such as oil-dependent Nigeria. In 1986, BL changed its name to Rover Group. The equity stake in Ashok Leyland was controlled by Land Rover Leyland International Holdings, and sold in 1987. Equals Leyland name post British Leyland equals. Buses, the bus operations were divested as a management buyout to form Leyland Bus, and was subsequently bought by Volvo Buses in 1988, which discontinued most of its product range but adopted the Leyland Olympian, re engineering it as the first named Volvo Bus model. The Volvo Olympian, aside from minor frame changes, the major alterations were the fitment of Volvo axles, braking system, and controls. Both were the best-selling double-deck bus chassis of their time. Trucks, 1987 The Leyland Trucks division of Rover Group merged with DAF Trucks of the Netherlands, and was floated on the Dutch stock exchange as DAFNV. The new company traded as Leyland DAF in the UK, and as DAF elsewhere. 1993 DAFNV went into bankruptcy. The UK truck division was bought through a management buyout and became Leyland Trucks. The van division was also bought through a management buyout and became LDV Limited. The spare parts operation was also subject to a management buyout before eventually becoming part of the Lex organization. 1998 Leyland Trucks was acquired by the US truck manufacturer Packer. Leyland Trucks now operates as a division of Packer from the Leyland Assembly Plant in northwest England manufacturing around 14,000 trucks per year of which about a third are sold in the EU though not with the name Leyland. Equals Ashok Leyland equals. The Leyland name and logo continues as a recognized and respected mark across India, the wider subcontinent and parts of Africa in the form of Ashok Leyland. Part of the giant Hindu Jha group, Ashok Leyland manufactures buses, trucks, defense vehicles and engines. The company is a leader in the heavy transportation sector within India and has an aggressive expansionary policy. Ironically, since 1987, when the London-based Hindu Jha Group bought the Indian-based Ashok Leyland Company, it is once again a British-owned brand. Today, Ashok Leyland is pursuing a joint venture with Nissan, and through its acquisition of the Czech truck maker, Avia, is entering the European truck market directly. With its purchase of a 26% stake in UK-based bus manufacturer Opta in 2010, Ashok Leyland has taken a step closer to reconnecting with its British heritage, as Opta is a direct descendant of Leyland's UK bus making division. On December 21, 2011, Ashok Leyland bought an additional 49% stake in Opta, bringing its total to 75%. Products equals Buses equals, historically, Leyland Motors was a major manufacturer of buses used in the United Kingdom and worldwide. It achieved a number of firsts or milestones that set trends for the bus industry. It was one of the first manufacturers to devise chassis designs for buses that were different from trucks, with a lower chassis level to help passengers to board. Its chief designer, John George Rackham, who had experience at the Yellow Coach Company in Chicago before returning to England, created the Titan and Tiger Rangers in 1927 that revolutionized bus design. After 1945, it created another milestone with the trend-setting Atlantean rear-engine double-decker bus design produced between 1956 and 1986. See List of Leyland Buses for the list of bus products. Equals Trucks equals. 1920s, Q-Type 4-ton, SQ-27 ton, SWQ-210 ton 6-wheeler, Bull, Leyland Median. 1930s, Beaver, Bison, Buffalo, Bull. Hippo, Octopus 22-ton 8-wheeler, Steer, Lynx, Cub, Badger. 1940s, Comet, Hippo, 
Beaver. 1950s, Martian. 1960s, Leyland 90, Beaver, Comet, Steer, Gas Turbine, FG, Lynx. 1970s, Terrier, Mastiff, Boxer, Clydesdale, Raver, Marathon, Bison, Buffalo. The G Series cab was built in Bathgate and was available with several different names, such as Terrier, Clydesdale, and Raver. After this cab was replaced the tooling was shipped to Turkey, where BMC's Turkish subsidiary built it as the BMC Yavers, and then as the Fauci from 1986 until 1996. The Marathon was Leyland's answer to the booming Max Cap truck fad at the start of the 1970s. Imports such as the Volvo F88 and Scania 110-140 were selling very well in the UK thanks to the previously unheard of levels of driver comfort, reliability, quality and performance. Leyland had insufficient money for development of a complete new vehicle at the time, so designers were instructed to utilize as many existing in-house components as possible. It was perceived at the time that the resulting model would be a stopgap until the new T45 range was ready for production toward the latter half of the 1970s. The cab was a reworked version of the Egomatic Tilt cab of 1965, heavily modified with different lower panels, raised height etc., and was available in day and sleeper cab form. Engines were decided from the outset to be in the higher power category to be competitive with rival vehicles. The only existing engine within the Leyland Empire suitable for such an application was the AEC Avenue 760 straight 6, which was turbocharged and designated as the TL12. Other engine options included a 200 bhp Leyland L11, as well as Cummins 10 and 14 litre engines at 250 and 330 bhp, respectively. Production began in 1973, and various shortcomings were noted including below-par heating and ventilation, and pronounced cab roll. However, road testers of the time were very impressed by the truck's power and performance. In 1977, the redesigned Marathon 2 was launched, an updated and revised vehicle that attempted to address some of the previous criticisms of the earlier vehicle. Relatively few Marathons of all types were sold before production ended in 1979 with the introduction of the T-45 route train range of vehicles. 1980s, Roadrunner, this was Leyland's answer to the Ford Cargo in the non-HGV 7.5-ton truck sector. Launched in 1984, it utilized a Leyland 698 straight-six engine until 1986, when a 5.9L Cummins was introduced. It was notable at the time for its low-level passenger side windscreen, featured as a safety aid to enable the driver to see the curb, although this was deleted on later models. The basic cab had a long service life, becoming later on the Leyland DAF-45. Route Rain The Leyland Route Rain was a range of heavy goods vehicle tractor units manufactured by Leyland trucks between 1980 and 1990. The nomenclature T45 refers to the truck range as a whole and encompasses models such as the lightweight 7.5-ton Roadrunner, Freighter, Constructor, and Cruiser. The route train itself was a max weight model with distance work in mind. The T45's cab is called the C40 and its design was a joint effort between Leyland, BRS and Ogle design and was seen as the height of modernity when compared with its predecessors the idea being to have one basic design to replace the various outgoing models. This did indeed make good economic sense. However, there has been speculation that Leyland did in fact alienate a number of customers who had traditionally purchased other marks from within the Leyland Empire a Euro Albion, AEC, Scamal, etc. a Euro, who were now left with no alternative but to have a Leyland branded vehicle or purchase from elsewhere. Throughout its production run, Engine choices included the AEC-based TL12, a straight carryover from the preceding stopgap model marathon range, the Rolls-Royce Eagle 265-300 and the Cummins 290L10 and 14-litre 350 coupled to a Spicer or Eaton transmission, although all versions produced a distinctive wind from the prop shaft knuckle joint when approaching 60 mph. The TL12 engine was dropped early on in the production run, with most large fleet buyers choosing the Rolls-Royce engine. The route train was available in day and sleeper cabbed form, 
in high and low datum versions a euro this refers to the cab echte euro high datum versions were intended as long-haul vehicles with higher mounted cabs and more internal space. 6x2 versions were built in high cab form only on a chassis that was basically that of the aging Scamel Trunker. The constructor's chassis was entirely Rootman behind the cab, albeit with altered suspension and with the front chassis rails splayed wider apart to fit the new C40 cab. In 1986, the high-roofed route train interstate was introduced, a top-of-the-range long-distance truck with standing room inside. The route train was a common sight throughout most of the 1980s, with a great many of the major fleet users in the UK such as Tesco, Blue Circle and BRS running them. The firm of Swains based at Rochester in Kent had a number of route trains in its fleet which enjoyed a comparatively long service life before being replaced by the new DAF-85. Production ended in 1990 with the sale of Leyland trucks to Dutch firm DAF, although as a postscript DAF relaunched the model in low datum form as the DAF-80, using the route train cab with the 11.6-litre DAF-330 engine. This model was produced for a relatively short time until 1993 with the launch of the brand new cab DAF-85. Due partly to the cab's propensity to rust and also to the admittedly short life of commercial vehicles, any road train in commercial operation is now a very rare sight indeed. However, a small number remain in use throughout the country as towing and recovery vehicles. The Army made use of an 8x6 version of the route train as a hook loader until recently. This is known to the British Army as demountable rack offload and pickup system, which has seen action in Iraq and Afghanistan and is still in service, but is due to be replaced by the MAN version. Comet, the Leyland Comet was introduced in 1986, specifically designed for export markets mainly in the developing world. As such, it was a no-frills vehicle of a simple and sturdy design with five or six speed transmissions rather than the multi-speed units used on European models. The cabin was a simplified all-steel version of that used by the Roadrunner, designed to enable local assembly. The three-axle version is called the Super Comet. Constructor. Equals diesel multiple units equals, British Rail British United Traction, PESA, British Rail Class 155. See also, Ashok Leyland. British Leyland Motor Corporation, Leyland Band, Leyland Bus, Leyland Trucks, List of Car Manufacturers of the United Kingdom. References, Jack, Doug. The Leyland Bus MK2, UK, Transport Publishing Company. ISBN 0-903839-67-9. External links, The British Commercial Vehicle Museum, Leyland. Leyland Motors Clock Euro Kendall, Cumbria